I mean, that was good. The, uh, the no, I'm not just saying, I'm not just saying anything. I'm serious. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm like, no, I knew it was you, but I'm like, well, that was a smart decision. <laughs> So you oh, yeah. had sex since then? I didn't have her. Well, I mean, to be fair, I've heard. I'm doing the call. What's up, buddy? How are you? Come to listen today, huh? He was just getting a drone lesson down in the park. He was flying the Phantom. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't fly under a bridge. Uh, it's 6 o'clock, and uh, we want to get started, right. but uh, yeah, we no. Mark, do you know if the other two council people are coming? I know. Uh, Danny's not. Danny's not? Okay. Sure, buddy. Uh, um, and uh, Scott Thomas, he said he'd be here about 6.30. Okay. All right. We asked Scott, uh, Scott to come um, just from a legal standpoint. Uh, except for Dan, none of us are attorneys. So, uh, anyways, uh, we want to get started, uh, and I think we have an updated um, lease proposal. Called, I would like. I have no lease statement. All right. Okay. I like. I like Don being here. Yeah. yeah he's right next to there he is. <laughs> 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 Good timing. There, there's two chairs up here if you want to move one and put, put it side by side. If Becky still wants to sit with you after being on vacation. How about going out of your office? Well, That'll work. They usually put the chair that's broken in my office. <laughs> I get the best one. Go ahead, Paul. Okay. You have four. Okay. Okay. I appreciate everybody for coming tonight and uh, supporting the live. So I uh, hope you all can hear me. I think I'm going to stand back here so everybody can hear me. Okay. Okay. So there seems to be some questions about the YMCA I'd like to address in this opening statement, okay? One question is, do residents want to join the Y in Canal Fulton? And the other question, can the Y sustain itself with memberships, okay? When McDonald's restaurants wants to build a new restaurant, they perform what's called a feasibility study. This is how they ensure that the location has adequate criteria to sustain their investment. The YMCA also does a feasibility study. In Canal Fulton, Foursquare Research performed our 95-page comprehensive study. Some points off the executive summary is in order to assess opportunities for Canal Fulton Family YMCA branch of the YMCA of Central Stark County, Foursquare Research conducted both qualitative and quantitative research. This included in-depth telephone interviews with over 600 randomly selected households in the targeted survey area, but do not belong to any YMCA. Based on the findings of the study, the consultant offers the following key conclusions and recommendations. The study revealed that significant interest exists for a new Canal Fulton family YMCA. A total of 6.8% of all households expressed a great deal of interest with all location, pricing, and facility options. That is much higher than the national average of 4.5% for a full facility YMCA. This is also above and beyond the 9.8% of all area households that already belong to the David YMCA in Jackson Township. The findings revealed that the community characteristics include a very inactive population, a marketplace with good number of existing for-profit providers, but in need of providers from the public nonprofit section, a small and stagnant population and a high awareness of the YMCA name. The study revealed that the primary prospective member groups of the new YMCA include families with children, aging baby boomers, empty nesters, and health seekers. The recommendations provided in this report are based on this methodology and all the experience of the Foursquare research 
with over 700 similar market research studies with the YMCA's nationwide. The findings also revealed that about 17% of all current YMCA member households in the area, including those of the David YMCA and other YMCAs in the area, expressed a great deal of interest in using the new YMCA, resulting in an estimated 363 units. 363 units, uh, that's households, not, not individual people. So the adjusted number of households in our targeted survey area is 15,789. The households with a great deal of interest in joining the YMCA is 1,073. Now there's three different locations that were looked at that were proposed for the location of the YMCA. Canal Fulton was number one. So 95% of that number has a great deal of interest in joining the YMCA. That's 1,019 households. Uh, households with a lot of interest, with a lot of interest, the one is a great deal of interest, this is a lot of interest, it's 285. So the total is 1,304 households, uh, plus the other memberships from the other YMCAs coming to Canal Fulton. That's 363 units. Units and households are the same thing, okay? That's 1,667 households. The multiplier for that for households is 2.6 is the national average, okay? So 1,667 households times 2.6 people per household. That's 4,334 memberships we expect in the Canal Fulton YMCA. This survey was done in a, within a 12 minute drive to get to this facility. Is this a good deal for the city and the taxpayers? The Y builds a $5.6 million facility, 26,000 square foot community center for our community. The Y invests a million and a half dollars of its own money into this facility. The Y borrows an additional million and a half to secure the, the uh, pledges over the next two years of people that have pledged money over a three year period of time. The Y maintains the facility. The Y employs 50 local people, tax-paying people. The Y manages all programming. The Y pays the sewer and water. The Y cleans the public restrooms daily in the facility. That's if the restrooms are in the facility, and we're going to get to that tonight. Y pays water and sewer for the public restrooms in the facility. The Y takes all the risk. Y splits shared parking lot future repairs with City 50-50. What's the city got in it? Canal Fulton plows and salts the shared parking lot. Canal Fulton donates $45,000 for water sewer, um, <clears throat> which they get a return on investment in six years. So through that water and sewer bill, they'll get their whole $45,000 back. Uh, Canal Fulton leases up to four acres, and that's something we're gonna talk about tonight too. But Lindsay precast paid for four acres where the Canal Fulton is gonna be. There's no investment in the city. There's no taxpayer dollars invested in that land. Um, Canal Fulton donates $538,000 of Ohio State grant money out of $750,000 grant for collaborative land work, which the Y initiated and worked diligently to bring to the community park. That's zero dollars out of the community tax dollars. Okay. Would you read that again, please, what you just read? $538,000 of Ohio State grant money out of the total grant of $750,000 for collaborative land work and you could add the, the bathroom, okay? Uh, which the Y initiated and worked diligently to bring to the community park. Is that the part that you're yes, asking sir. about? Thank okay. You. So let me explain that to you. We worked, we, we brought Kurt Sharing in and we had a, a meeting with Kurt Sharing and we're like, this is our project. This is what we want to do. We want to build a Y on this community park. And he said, there's community park money available and he helped us draft this. He helped us draft the whole brand. And uh, he was on site with the people down there that were making the decision, and he relayed to them, listen, this is the project these people want to do. It's a good project, they're good people, it's a good community. You know, let's, let's help them out, okay? That's, that's how this money was originated. Okay, so can I ask a question then? Sure. Why did we get an email this past Friday saying that Kirk Shearing has told the mayor that we got this grant money 
in spite of the fact that a YMCA was coming and not because a YMCA is coming? Well, nobody was in that meeting but the mayor and Kirk Sharon, so I don't know exactly how that was stated. <laughs> But I can tell you I was in the meeting with Kurt Sharing when we talked about this. I was there and there was a number of people there. Well, I'm, I'm I, concerned. Well, uh, go ahead, Joe. Um, Mark, you have the, the applications. So we have two different applications. The initial application had the YMCA. Do you have those copies? Can you pass it? Yeah. If I could, Joe, I'd like to just go ahead and finish this up. Yeah, we can that's fine. Okay. All right. So, Paul, what about guarantees? You know, who's going to guarantee me that that Y is going to stay open? Who's going to guarantee me that it's never going to go out of business and it's not going to sit there vacant? Okay. I'd like to ask everybody here who got a guarantee when they bought their house that they would never lose that house. I'd, I'd like to ask if anybody had a guarantee when they got a job that they would never, ever lose that job. And I'd also like to ask if anybody, when they got married, would guarantee that that spouse would be with them for life, and if their kids would be normal, happy, and healthy. Anybody get a guarantee? Not a soul in this room got a guarantee for the most important things in their life, but they want a guarantee for a YMCA. It's impossible. You can't do that. But the most important things in your life you couldn't get a guarantee for. Then you can't ask for a guarantee from a Y. You're going to get the best guarantee you can get, and that's 174 years experience doing what they do best. This has been a 20-year work in progress. The origin of a community center initiative began in the late 1990s for the Canal Fulton Community Campus. 20 years ago. Several groups of community leaders independently revealed a common interest and goal for the development of a community center for the city of Canal Fulton. Canal Fulton's Talk About Potential Committee, TAP, founded in 2002, identified the need and interest for a health, fitness, and wellness component for the community. In 2009, Canal Fulton Community Plan Citizens Committee, as well as the Stark County Regional Planning Commission, reiterated this interest as a <coughs> stone goal in the 2009 Canal Fulton Community Plan. Throughout this span, providers in the region, including healthcare and the Area YMCA Association, expressed interest. But the initiative lacked a lead organization able to move the initiative forward. In March of 2014, members of the Canal Fulton City Council began the process of exploring communities that have demonstrated success in community center development. An emphasis was placed on campus-style development <coughs> with a collaborating partnership as a method to dramatically increase the qual quality and quantity of services and programs for the community. And I'm going to repeat that so everybody hears it. Collaborating partnerships as a method to dramatically increase the quantity and quality of services and programs for the community. Keyword, collaboration. Entrepreneur Magazine said it best. You already know how hard your path is. You don't need people telling you it's impossible. After 20 years, we have assembled a building facility committee, fundraising committee, and a Y board that is eager to give back to our community and do not know the word impossible. Our fundraising committee performed the daunting task of securing 96% of the funds to build this wonderful full service facility with no cost to this community. The balance will be secured shortly. Two main issues need addressed this evening. Locating the public restrooms in the Y makes sense. Financially, it would help the Y and the city because it can be built at a lower cost with shared use. Building standalone restrooms in the park would make the city residents financially responsible for cleaning, maintenance, upkeep, water, and sewer costs. Leasing the land makes sense to, uh, so grant money can be utilized for the public restroom. We have this project in the palm of our hands, and Canal Fulton has a once-in-a-lifetime chance to give our community what it really wants and needs. The YMCA, with its 174-year track record, is the perfect community partner to collaborate with. Let's get past a few minor details and get this deal done so our kids can enjoy the pool 
the parents can get fit, the baby boomers can stay healthy, and the seniors can walk the track. Our people are worth it. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak for the why? Joe? Yeah, I would, I would like to say um, I'm so blessed to be here. And how I got involved, I'm sure many of you are wondering. I happened to go to the Y in Jackson Township to see our kids swim. And at that point, I met Pam. And I asked Pam simply, is this really going to happen? I embrace this. This community's given me 35 years, 22 as a classroom teacher and 13 as a guidance counselor. I am beyond excited. I wrote a check almost immediately to Pam because this is good. I look at the Murgatroyds. I look at so many families. These are wonderful, wonderful people, community. I went to the Y when I was 10 or 11 to, for activities. I remember being in junior high and going to the end. I think the, Canal, the YMCA is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And I think Canal Fulton deserves to embrace this challenge. When I, th when I think about guarantees, first time I subbed here, um, 1971, 72, um, building 19, built in 1910, 1923, I'm going, how did I get to Summit County? I thought I was going to start county sublet. <laughs> then I found out all about Canal Fulton, the wonderful community. Um, a year and a half of subbing, I will say, Canal Fulton and Navarre were the best amazing kids I ever worked with. I look at the Murgatroyds, I remember their boys, Ryan and Kyle, ornery, focused, <laughs> parent support. What more can you ask for? What more you, can you ask for? I think a why is only going to facilitate the awesome families, community. I really think we owe it to our kids. And I, I was telling somebody, I said, yeah, I said 35 years, almost I, I, half of my life I've spent here with your kids. And I said the families and the support, our kids are worth it. James. Yeah, I've been on this committee ever since it started, since day one. Mm -hmm. Which was when? Like Paul said, 20 years. Yeah. Let's get it done <laughs> as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Get some benefit for this community. And, you know, I can't see spinning our wheels for 20 more years. Mm -hmm. I think the sooner we do it, the better off we are. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else want to? Anybody else up for speaking publicly? Mr. Murgatroyd? So far, I, Mark could probably tell us the exact number. There's two studies that's been done. The city's paid for it and the wife's paid for it. If you put those two together, I believe with $380,000, $400,000 in total studies. It says the community wants a Y. They want a Y located on a public road property. They want a pool, they want a gym, they want a fitness center. Okay, it's about four hundred thousand dollars invested already in this program. Okay, and we're stumbling over payments right now. Let's get this thing done and make the investment for the city. And it's done. I mean, we've got the money in line. We've got people that are donated. We've got these people that run the YMCA. How many offices do you have? Branches? Eleven? Ten? Ten? Soon to be eleven, hopefully. Okay. They know what they're doing. They, they don't have any problems. They're professionals. The professionals in the community want this. Look at the, all the people that work, live in this community, have donated to this project. Let's just get it done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Get into um, the grant, basically. I think that's the next thing to go into. And <clears throat> so to answer Dan's question, um, what yet? What this form is, Dan? This is what we we submitted to get the grant. Mark, do you have the original one that uh, with the YMCA's name in it? I passed that out to it. I'll put it on first. There were two grants. This is the one that I've already I've already seen. Yeah. This well, one. the first one I passed out was my initial ask. This is the Frank Rose, our state senator. Um, do we have that? Where's yeah. the other one? Well, we had to take out the YMCA. All right. So this, and then the questionnaire came out from uh, Scott Olsleger's office and Frank Rose's office, and that's what the second is. It just 
tone down answering their questions. All right. So, so Dan, uh, so these are the two side by side. This one is uh, dated October 26, 2017. So that was uh, the original. And so you, you see the y YMCA mentioned uh, several times through, throughout there. And then on the recommendation, you know, the, the money that was available, and there's all different grant programs that are out there, but the actual money that was available was through uh, the ODNR, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, which is money that is not earmarked for building senior centers, building YMCAs, building courthouses, or any, any structure like that. Um, it is designed for land development, park development. So, uh, so that's what you see, Dan. Is you know this is this is what we started out with, and then this is this is where the money was. So where the money was doesn't involve the YMCA, so to speak. Okay, and so I think what Paul so eloquent, eloquently stated there was, you know we never would have known or had the initiative to go after this grant money if it wouldn't have been for the YMCA coming here and bringing our attention to the fact that th there's funds available. Now, the dilemma that we have, so everybody knows, is sometimes our, our hands are tied about what we can do with that money. We, we can't build a YMCA. So what we have to be able to do is work collaboratively. And so that's where, where we're struggling. Is where we're struggling is you're saying $538,000 as if we have the ability to give you that money. And that's not how I stated it. How okay. I stated it was there, there's that much work that needs to be done around the Y. So the land, the parking lot, the mm -hmm. lighting, parking lot, the water retention, all that's the, the majority of it. Mm -hmm. And that's all shared park expense. Right. But the other, but the bathrooms specifically is really the only component mm -hmm. we'd like to have. And, and I'll tell you, you know, we'll, we'll, we should get into maybe some of the costs to build an offsite. We like talked to the city of Green today. Uh -huh. Mark talked to uh, Jackson Township today. What they recently spent on restrooms is staggering mm -hmm. compared to what we could do it for in the Y. So, if we could build this for half the price, you know, this bathroom for half the price, and put it in the Y and let the Y maintain it, so there's no, there's no perpetual taxpayer-funded maintenance to it. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that make sense? It it makes perfect sense to to me, and that was one of the proposals I had from the beginning. I my goal was just to attach it to the building to reduce the the cost of running the water and sewer electricity mm -hmm. to it. Um, so. I'm also checking on, you know, uh, we're talking to a local architect here to, to get numbers on, you know, just the square footage that you have. Just, uh, I don't know if you guys have the actual size of that restroom. Do you know what the cost per square foot comes out to be? Because it. I, I'm just going to, I'll share this with you first. Okay. I, when I talked to the city of Green today, I talked to Mike Elkins today. Okay, so he's head of Parks and Recreation. At East Liberty Park, uh, they put a uh, uh, <coughs> splash one. park. Is that where they put their splash park? I don't know if that's splash park. <coughs> it's at East Liberty. So I don't, I don't think. I it's think that's the not. I don't think it's the splash park. park. I don't think okay. so. I we got talked you. about that separately. Okay. But this is a, a two plus two men's room. So you know, two stalls, two urinals, and then four a four seater women's with no family restroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was two hundred twenty five thousand dollars. Plus, they had to put an eighty thousand dollar pump station, and they had over three hundred thousand dollars invested in that bathroom. Yep. Now, the new code apparently states that you have to have a third family bathroom. So, mm -hmm. even if you didn't do a, a four and a four, and you did a two and a two in a, in, in a third family bathroom, I could easily see how you could be running two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So, and we came up with about one hundred thirteen thousand for the same size restroom in the lot. Mm -hmm. So if we could save the city $87,000, for example, plus a perpetual cost to the taxpayers for maintenance and water and sewer, mm -hmm. isn't that a good collaboration? It, it's a good collaboration. Now, what that takes us back to, just so council brings them up to, 
and to try to bring them up to speed um, when we have two members absent. But, you know, what makes that possible is leasing the land. Yeah. So just to bring everyone up to speed, last year, council, over a year ago, because Bonnie and Eric weren't on council at that time, um, council voted to give the YMCA seven acres plus $45,000 worth of utility hookups for water and sewer. So when we got this grant money, we had to explore other ways to make this more of a collaborative effort. If we're going to, going to have a park, you need to have a road into it, you need to have a parking lot, and I think you need to have a restroom. Our goal is to get something that you don't have to be a member of the Y to enjoy, and that would be a walking track around the, the park. So with that being said, we started exploring the lease option, and that's really where the, the idea of putting the restrooms became a reality. Now, we don't know for sure, and Mark's had some phone conversations with the people from ODNR, and we have to substantiate everything with getting it in writing to say that, yeah, that is even a possibility. So, you know, that, that would be the next step. So that's kind of where council is. You know, we have this uh, lease proposal, and hopefully Mr. Thelma is here in a little bit. He can kind of help us go through it, but we have that updated draft. So am, am I conveying enough to you, council members, as far as, you know, understanding the difference of why we got that grant money. I thought it didn't, wasn't, you know, it didn't have to have a lease um, in order to have the restrooms inside. You said that we do have to now. Oh, uh, absolutely. We have to own the land, Bonnie, okay? In order to, in order for us to spend money, and this is. Well, then I see a solution. Okay, what's that? Put them inside, then we don't have to own the land. Right. So that's what you're seeing as a solution is just saying here's separate. Like we originally, like originally was done. Right? Where where you're saying grant them the land, give give them the land, give them the water and sewer hookups. We build the parking lot and then we use the rest of the money for our, our park. Okay. So um, I guess are you open minded to now that this new possibility came up, and here's what the new possibility is. If the guidelines for the ODNR say that you have to build a restroom, and if you build a restroom, you basically have to build three. You have to build a men's, you have to build a women's, and you have to build a family restroom. Well, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. Right, so, <laughs> so that, and, and that's what I'm saying is, yeah. I think what the next important, really important step for us is getting some firm numbers and some firm direction mm -hmm. To, to know because if $113,000 versus $220,000 to put restrooms in would... Well, there's still a difference more than just that. Though. If okay. we still own the land, we still have to pay taxes on it. If we don't, there's, we there's, don't have to. There's, there's no taxes. Taxes are whether we own the property or they own the property, we're all non-profit, okay? Uh, the YMCA is okay. a non-profit, okay? okay? If all care goes in there, they're a nonprofit. They mm -hmm. so there's no property taxes okay. to to generate from that property right now. So the school district typically is the big winner when it comes to property taxes, right, Mr. Stetler? If I could call on your, you know, so when we pay our property taxes, folks, most of that money goes to school funding, and you know we don't recoup a lot of the money there. On so just to clear up another big issue. This whole project, is this gonna cost the Canal Fulton taxpayers any more money, or any money at all? I, I hate There's saying no it. We're playing with, uh, uh, There's no guarantees. Uh, uh, We've just been told there's no guarantees. And if, I mean, if it would involve just the community paying tax dollars, what would that tax dollars be for? What would it go to? I, I'm not, let, let me answer the first question, because I, I think what Sue's alluding to is if, if failure is an option, right? When, I don't know. when Paul, I Paul talked that. about. I think she took my comments out of context. Okay, so when you're saying no guarantees, you're you're trying to answer the public's uh, question about is this why going to be successful? Sustainable. 
yeah. to sustain that. Right? This is going to be you know, my question has nothing to do with okay. that. We okay. have a lot of people in this community that don't aren't completely educated on how all of this is working right now. Mm -hmm. and they're first I don't even know how this is working yeah. right now. We're, we're kind of, it's confusion, yeah. and that's what happens. Mass it's mass confusion. Yeah, but that's why we're here is to get all this ironed out. And yeah. One of the big questions <laughs> is, 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 it, is this going to cost the taxpayers more money? Is, and that's, well, that's an issue. And, and here's, uh, based on my my meeting last Friday with uh, Kurt Schuring, is uh, there were three questions that I heard us take out of our last work session. And, and one was, uh, did we get the grant because of the why? Uh, will the will we lose the grant if the YMCA doesn't build on that property uh, or doesn't build at all? And will we be in line for other money? So the, the three answers to that question is, like I said, this grant money was was based on the YMCA's not name not being in here. Okay, Kirk, uh, Tim. Sorry to interrupt you, yep. Mayor. How long have you owned the park? Uh, I want to say 2000, or was it 97? I don't know. So how, how many how many grants how many grants have you gotten before we came together and working together? Right. Uh, point well taken, Tim. Uh, uh, okay. And, then, and then another couple yep. things here, but you yep. know, in the why, and we gave you this last time. Yeah. But um, there's two family locker rooms, and restrooms already in the why. I mean, those are already going to be there. Mm -hmm. So the only collaborative two areas is just the two restrooms. Family lock, locker rooms and restrooms will take care of And there is a guarantee. It's $45,000 from the city of, Camp, city of Canal Fulton. That's the guarantee. I don't okay. think you'll find a Y project in the country. I'd like to see it where a city has a YMCA built in it for $45,000 from the city. Yeah, just to answer Eric's question, Anything the Y builds, there's no tax increase to the citizens or, or cost of citizens. Right. Whatever the city builds in the park, yes, there will be, the citizens have to take care of it. The Y will take care of their stuff, but we have to, if we, anything we build in that park, the city's got to maintain it. So we need to, that, that's something to. That's uh, a good point. That's what I wanted to okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nothing having to do with the Y yeah. is going to cost and the that's citizens. what I wanted yeah. people to hear so they, they knew the answer to. But the only reason that the park grant was born was because of the YMCA. Yes. That I mean now, now, uh, now, okay. now. originally. Originally. Right. The the whole but, concept. Go ahead, sir. But but and in the part grant that was submitted back in October that we just received another copy of, we did allocate well it was allocated restroom and picnic shelter for two hundred thousand. So the the amount of money for that restroom was not an unknown. We had two hundred thousand in that, in that, yeah, in that dollar amount for the total seventeen uh, one one point seven million dollar mm -hmm. grant, which we didn't get close to that. Right. But um, what I'm curious about is back in August, I had I had emailed Mr. Cozy about getting this copy of this grant and getting a copy of the re of the award letter. And in that, he stated to me that he had met with Frank LaRose and Mr. Schuring. Oh, he had received phone calls from LaRose and Schuring informing us of the award, and that Mr. Schuring had met with Mr. Schetzer and Mr. Cozy explaining, and this is before August of this year, explaining what the funds could and could not be used for. So wasn't that discussion already done? to know what the funds could or could not be used for before August when I questioned this. So we're talking about that again still right now of not knowing what the funds, what what we can, what we can, I mean, I'm just, I mean, this is what I was told back in, on August 13th. Okay. So, so that meeting with Mr. Schuring and Mr. Schetzer and Mr. Cozy, what was that outcome of that meeting that was never documented in any, amount of writing. This here? Oh, that was that, that was part of the, the questionnaire that came out. That was included with. So, but, but, yeah. but, okay. 
you know, it, it seems like we're spinning our wheels, not just spinning our wheels to get this project done, but we're spinning our wheels on vital pieces to the project that is just making it more confusing to understand. Yeah, and and, and I, I would- reported, you know, that the meeting, you know, the mayor was part of those discussions too. And, and when it came back that we can only spend the money for parks or collaborative efforts, with the YMCA, where the, where, the, where all park users could use them. So, and that's and that's why I talked, had those conversations with the mayor back, and I think it was spring, going into summer, and, and uh, you know, the the, the 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 donation of land would no longer work. You know, we had to figure something else out and go back to the lease discussion we had. So the donation, so the donation, so the donation yeah. of giving them if, if we, what if they did, had asked for. If we did any kind of shared facility. And could run with to, it. We have to own the land. That was the stipulation that came from Kirk Shearing with ODNR. But, so. but the YMCA, you guys could run with this on they, your own. They, they could. And, and why, why, I mean, why wouldn't, why is that not being done? Well, obviously they want Because they could do it without even us saying boo. Well, we still need to give well, them we, seven but, acres but, but the legislation is seven acres well sure it is so we couldn't so we couldn't build our park you know because the seven acres takes up the park too we we that whole that that legislation was passed has to be redone in some way or fashion we cannot let it was that a work. month later it, it took one month for it to completely flip-flop yeah basically it was one month yeah if, if i'm following your your argument in what you're saying is okay we approved seven acres we thought this was a done deal and now what changed and basically what changed sue was we when i say we the ymca and the city found out that this grant money was available we apply for the grant we get it and now the details of the grant just like the details of the grant are still coming out okay because if you have to have three restrooms and I'm asking Mr. Knickerbocker to give me quotes on a restroom facility that's basically 20 by 20 and it doesn't meet the guidelines for ODNR, and ODNR meaning you have to have those three restrooms, it's going to change again. So change is part of the equation. But to answer your question, they told us about a grant opportunity that we didn't know about. We found out about that this grant money as a result of them Say being involved with us. Say thank you and we won. But you know what, Mayor? This yep. conversation right here amongst us all should have taken place back in back back months ago. Uh, I, I don't think so, sir. Can I, can I say uh, so? Yeah. We keep going back to that, back to that, back to well, that. We just, we, get, we, we just get an email forward. from the mayor that has totally put a new twist on all this for us. So let's move forward. There's been new information come up. Can we just move forward? You keep going back to August, August, August. Can we move forward on this? Like, we're not going anywhere. How many meetings have we been to? We haven't gotten anywhere. You know, you know, <coughs> I'm really tired of being pinned in a corner as a city council person. The YMCA and board members who may live within or outside of this city, the questions I have asked and the concerns I have raised. As seasoned businessmen, this city has tried to work with, what have I asked or challenged that you would not do yourself before proceeding into an unknown venture? You prepared a lease for this city, and you must realize that the six people at this table were elected and work for those who pay our salaries and every employee of this city. I'm obligated in how I vote to safeguard our laws and our financial stability and obligations to the best of my ability. Well laid out plans can still experience a surprise or two, but what has transpired since the first meeting of August, since we learned about this lease, has, is unacceptable for me. It's unacceptable for me. I'm sorry, but just because you guys are telling me, we've gotta go, we gotta move, we gotta move, don't do that to this body. I believe that we have been giving, we've been give, we've not been given the right information at the right time. And for for me right now, I am not in favor of this lease. You guys have the legislation, and if the rest of this council wants to change your legislation, go for it. 
I am too confused about everything to even know where to go it next. Keeps changing. Okay. It is yep. it is a it is a cluster of don't finish that. <laughs> no, I, I, that's not what I'm, that's not, that word can be used in many ways other than that way. I'm just saying, okay. it is too confusing, and I am not going to make a decision that affects this community, good or bad, when, when, when I feel like I feel right now. Okay. Here's, and I'm I, sorry, Mayor. I, I, you don't have to be sorry. So. I've talked to you so many times, and the more I talk to you, the more confused I get. Oh, well. That may be how my, a lot of my students are too. So that's why you're nobody's favorite teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so Sue, so, so when you're talking about August, you're talking about August of 2018. I'm just using the date as to when things had been relayed to me. When I thought there was more substance in place back then. Obviously, we still don't know what's going on, and that to me is just. I don't know. Yeah. I think if I could bring, try to bring some clarity to this. If we could just act like, for example, maybe nothing happened so far. And given the information you have right now, based on what you have right now, what decisions can we make? And can, I, can, I ask you, can I ask you guys that are here for the why, what do you want to happen right now, tonight? Okay. What well, are you looking I don't, for to happen? I don't, because I just got this lease. Yeah. I just got this this marked up lease. Mm -hmm. I've not had a chance to look at it. I, I don't, I don't think they're looking. Tim, bathroom. Tim, you want to speak to her? Okay. Well, you know, it's not a lease. It's a term sheet. So, you know, what what I personally, I haven't talked to the board of directors. You know, we have 20 board of directors in Canal Fulton, but we really need a lease by the end of the year. So we got a couple months. To work on this, get your answers. But the first thing is, we need you to respectfully pass some type of term sheet. Mr. Shotman is out of order. So he has to turn in his phone, right, Joan? Is that Kenny? To really to pass the to agree in some form or fashion with that term sheet, so we can finish the lease by the end of the year. Because we have banking issues we got to deal with after the first year and other issues. And so, I mean, hopefully 60 days will be enough time to answer all your questions and vote on some type of a term sheet and get the lease. Well, we've gone on essentially two full meetings of this without getting any legal advice from our council. So. Exactly. I don't see it happening anytime exactly. soon until we start getting some opinions there. Mm -hmm. Joe, I have a question for you. Yeah. Because we're talking, I want to go back to my earlier question yeah. because I pulled up the email that you sent me and I just yeah. want some clarification on mm -hmm. one sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the grant was approved in spite of the YMCA. Everything that we're hearing tonight is the complete opposite of that. Okay. And everything mm -hmm. that we heard at the last meeting is the complete opposite of that. And I just want to know where the truth is. Okay. Because we can't really make a decision if we don't know what the truth is. Right. Yeah. right. So once everything is laid out on the table, we can make a decision. Right. So Dan, and and there's a lot to that email. Like I said, as, as far as the reality of allocating public dollars to different organizations. So this, this is the only thing I have to go by. So when Kirk said, we got the grant in spite of the YMCA, you literally have to go from this document where we wanted to develop a collaborative you know, project with the YMCA to build a, a, a building, okay? And we, wanted, we were seeking grant dollars to do that. Where the money trail led to was the ODNR. And the ODNR does not give money for YMCA's, courthouses, or senior centers. I was so, at that Rotary meeting. When, okay. Was that Kirk Schering that was there yeah. that night when right. it was first brought up? Yeah. I was there that night, so I okay. heard all of that. Okay, so that's, that's really what I'm, a, so when he said we got it in spite of it, it, it was just because that's where the money was. Would we have known about the money being available if it wouldn't have been for the YMCA? Absolutely not. We, we never had a clue. We've been sitting on this land for 13 years. Okay, We got $200,000 from the Lindsay family to put a deed restriction on the front four acres. 
So we're, we're limited as to what we can do on that land anyway. So we were just sitting on that land on a $700,000 investment that taxpayers made before us. And now we have a chance to do something with it. And the reason we have $750,000 to work with is for one and only, one, one reason only, and that's the YMCA, because I never thought of it. And Mark never thought of it. Nobody on council, the park board, you know, Earl, so this I goes don't want to throw you under the bus. <laughs> this goes back to some of the questions that Mrs. Yeah. Mayberry was asking last yeah. week, and we've all been kind of scratching our heads at it. Yeah. If the Y doesn't come in, if we don't do this lease, mm -hmm. does it put this grant or future grants in jeopardy? No. We were told last week, yes. So well, that's you were told I'm, by, well, that was the general consensus of the people in the Y, because they had the perception that we got this money because of them, okay? And the reality is, we, we, there's there's a reality. You don't see the YMCA in there anywhere, okay? The, the other reality is, so we're not gonna lose that money. We got the so money. would it make the most and, sense then just to give the Y the portion of the land they need for the building space? And then keep the rest of it for our park mm -hmm. and build our park and just let the two co-join together. And, and that's the only place where that gets sticky is the restrooms. So and yeah, so outside, it, right, so outside of the restrooms, we still use that grant money to move forward at the park. The, the, you know, the parking lot's gonna be shared anyways, the road's gonna be shared anyways. It's stuff that we're gonna have to begin with. So rather than come up with all this outrageous lease ideas, why don't we just give them that section of land for their property, like was originally talked about last year, but instead of giving all of it to them, just give them enough for the building, and then the park is all around it. So it looks like one, it's conjoined as one. Does that That's make what you sense? See here. Okay, then this direction. picture came out. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. This, this basically is a footprint. This becomes the premises. You know, it's shaded in, in the pan, the brown color here. And if we would, if we were to lease or donate, this is what I recommend we do. Is right here, not the full seven acres. It's what is this in acres? Do you know? Two about acres. Two acres. About two. About two. Yeah. Mr. So, Chapman, are you on speak? Yeah. What Eric just said makes real good sense, with the exception of if you just give them the land, then you can't give them the money to. Use to have restrooms that you want to use too. Yeah, we're, not you to use, no, we're not allowed to use that money for the restrooms. We can, we can, anyway. we can, right. we can do that, yes. Are we sure about we that? Can, I, I talked to Tim Robinson, Modi and R about this very issue. And I, 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 I brought this up. I really would. Okay, I'm gonna get it in writing. You can give them the money if you don't own I the just land thought for the rest We of have to own the land. That, that's a stipulation. Well, that, that, he just said, I'm just give saying them the if land. we give them the land, then, then we the can't land. spend the money. On the rest of oh, the rest the money. Rest. Rest. We, can't, we can't do it. And that's what, that's what yeah, that's came that's about in August. That's a sticky whip to go back right to what Sue's yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. That's what the yeah. game changer so was. Okay, so this all hinges on bathrooms. Yeah. And a porta potty. Yeah, hinges on bathrooms. Right? And we're our estimates right now are $100,000 we can possibly save by collaborating with the wife for the rest. That that's where it is. On the lease. So, on the lease. If we if we lease the land and collaborate for the restrooms, which I have a, I talked to ODNR on the phone, they said collaboration is fine as long as park users can walk in the door and use the restrooms, that's fine. And what I can do is I can just give them this footprint and say, here it is, guys. What and do you then think? Could we get a letter or something from we can, I, these I can do that. Is that yeah. we can but do but that. I want to make sure council's okay with it because we're getting feedback that council might even be okay with that, even if voting well, our sports. So the I, facts I don't, I don't should be that. in writing, yeah. whether whether we approve of them or not. Yeah. The facts should be in writing. Right. Any we, fact. Yeah, we just right. want to vote Every on fact. something that's, that's right. concrete. And, and the other thing we need is that comparison of what the restrooms, because. Right. We don't know what green built, where they built it, or anything like that. It's proximity, proximity to other utilities that already exist. So, you know, what we need is is a number from, you know, an independent source. So that's what I, I reached out to Mr. Knickerbocker about. Mayor, another yep. thing you yep. mentioned in your email was about the pool. Yes. And I want to just reiterate that the four square, the four square pool 
was to be an indoor warm water family pool and it had a two lane two lanes for lap swimming that was a four square pool the risinger study pool was a two lane lap pool that was that was on the ballot so this was the pool we were going to get okay. with the levy okay. and every and and this and this is another picture of what mr cozy sent me of the wadsworth pool as an as a as a way for us to be to de depict this and there's the two lane lap pool here so the lap this two lane lap pool that has been in question has been the pool that we've been told for years now is the pool that the ymca was going to build for us and if that's and when we gave them the land or you mm -hmm. know pass that legislation that's the pool that we were going to get okay so that's been a sticking point which really should have been a sticking point all along but this is what we've been told by the professionals as to what pool we should have yeah. and i think so you're, you're going to design on that so we'll have a drawing of of that here are you approving the pool no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that that's been a, that's been a sticking point, and that was in our email about right. this pool. Right. And I wanted him. It's to been know. a real sticking point for me, but. I'm but I just wanted him to know that we would have had a two-lane lap pool if the levy would have passed. Um, yes, ma'am. That is correct. Right. The pool has never changed. So we would this have is had exactly what, what the study said. This is exactly what the community what, wanted, and that's exactly well, that's what, what we want That's to what I was just wanting to. Tell him again. Our marijuana is more. Well, Larry. We can't afford more right now. I just yeah. wanted to reiterate that. I got champagne that. taste and a beer budget. Exactly. Right. I just wanted to reiterate that point. You know, right. Madam Thank President, you. if I could, the other thing to, to uh, remember is this is 25 yards. In some of the pools, like in the bar, it's 20 yards. So a 25 yard pool? This is a 25. For canal pool, it's a 25 yard pool, which is the length for competition and for people to practice 25 yards. There's I a big difference mean, between 20 yards and 25 yards. You may not like that it's just two lanes, but that's what we've been. I know. I mean, I just wanted to remind. You don't win them all, so. No, because you weren't aware. You I don't even get to sure try at home. Can we take the gymnasium out and just make the pool there? Uh, it's no. just, we want it all. It's a lot more expense with we the bigger pool. Yeah, right. Joe, if I could just say one thing. No. And then I'm, then I'm going to no. leave. Then I'm going to leave. <laughs> See, she won't listen to I, me. <laughs> I, I, I think, and this is just new kid on the block, first night observation. I think the Y certainly, in their hundred and some years, have done their homework as far as what's right for our community. I, I think um, Mr. Puffenberger, when I was here in 70, 71, I think we owe it to him who donated the land or gave us the land or whatever to figure this out, too. There is no, again, I'm, I'm backing up the bus on you there, Joan, because there was no donation. It was an auction that the land sold at, okay? So the city yeah. paid close to a million dollars yeah. for that land, so, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Now, what Mr. Puffenberger did donate was some land for the park behind the senior center. So what, yeah, what because I just yeah. think there's so many things happening here that I, I don't want us to lose focus of the wonderful community we have. And I think certainly the Y seems to have done their homework. And whatever the council has to do to get Shuring or whomever on the same page with all you folks, I think that would be a blessing. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank You're not you going to stay for the council meeting, Joe? <laughs> no, I think I've heard enough. And, and <laughs> <laughs> great night. Oh, get out of here. I'm throwing you out. For the wonderful community we do live in. It's amazing. It's going to come down to price of the bathrooms, whether we donate that portion of the land or well, what, decide to go ahead and what I'll, what I'll do this week then, is I'll submit this. This is the current plan. That, uh, Tim gave us uh, with this restroom in here, and I'll get a I'll get a written okay to Modi and R for this. Uh, and then well, the, we have five minutes, yeah. and Mr. Thomas here can can I ask him a quick question? Have you read this term sheet? The, the rights proposal. Yes, I perused it, but I, uh, I did. Yes. Okay. Have you? Did you come across any issues? where we need to be worried legally that I would like we to look at it again before I get rid of that. Now, Mr. Feldman, if you could also speak to um, 
who originates the document? Is it your opinion? Does it matter to you whether the YMCA pr proposes a lease to us or we go out and hire a separate real estate attorney to draw up a lease for us? No, I, I think it's okay if the wise attorney gives us a lease. However, I, I have to be in agreement on the, on the terms of that. Mm -hmm. It's not for me as law director to legislate from this chair. Right. It's up to council to tell me what they want in the lease. Right. And you know, if you do that, then I have a, I can negotiate with uh, the council. It doesn't matter who was drafted, okay. but you know, it's just as long as it's fair to both sides. That's what we were talking about the other day. So yeah. now that they've done how many two drafts of the lease? Three, three drafts. Yeah. So why don't we take their lease and put down what we wanted out of the lease? and then just gel the two together so it's in the best interest of both parties. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're doing. Uh, and, and we're doing it in a public forum, mm -hmm. and, and I think it's the way it should be done is, you know, yeah, we have to get this way. I, I just need yeah. a recommendation from council as to what folks want to do in it, and then I, I can uh, go. So again, it's back out of the bathroom. Yeah. Do we want well, to give them no, a part of the land? Or? Essentially, really, I think what needs to happen is just this two acres right here, because there'd be a little bit surrounding area around the facility that's for expansion. And then the blue area here would be state grant money, and there would be the restroom. I mean, that's, that's three things. Three things. Yeah. Larry? So if I can just add, and of course our kids are now in their 20s, but if I remember right, the park behind the senior center has restrooms. Yes, it does. That, are, that were closed that, last week. That are, that are always, that I can remember when we went with the kids, were never open. Okay? And, yeah, and they're never open. And if they are open, they get vandalized and they get dirty. I don't know who on council came up, or the city mayor, Mark, who came up with the idea of doing it in the Y. But it's ingenious. The restrooms are open from 6 a.m. to 30. Whoa, Larry. <laughs> you gentlemen <laughs> come to 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. at night. They don't have to clean them. They don't have to do anything. We have staff meetings every two weeks, and that's and that's what we sit in and hear. Is, is, is here our people telling us what they had to do it's to make It's a beautiful change. park, but I remember going with the kids. You could never do it. The kids got to go to the restroom. We're hopping. We're going to the gas station. You know, because you can't get in. All right. We got a minute for a potty break. I hate to end the session. Um, I, we'll keep working on it and. I guess set up another meeting, get uh, Mr. Feldman to review everything, get some more facts, and uh, probably come back in two weeks, I'm guessing, have another meeting. I think we have, we have finance schedule for the, for the next meeting. Okay. Okay.